It's been 21 years since a young pregnant woman was found strangled to death at a parking lot here at 130 Carlton Street. More than two decades later, Toronto police are still trying to solve this cold case, urging the public to come forward with a name. On Sunday, March 8th in 1998, a resident called police after discovering 24-year-old Donna Ogleve's body in a parking lot. Ogleve was originally from British Columbia, but traveled between Toronto and BC regularly. It wasn't a secret amongst her family or friends that she was a sex trade worker at the time. Uh, I don't know that everyone knew that she was pregnant at the time of her death. Detective Stacy Gallant with the Toronto Police, who has been working on this case, says Ogleve was four months pregnant at the time, something he thinks the suspect didn't know either. Gallant believes Ogleve died as a result of her profession. She would normally check in with people that she knew as well on a regular basis. Um, but um, on that particular morning when she was found, um, the police were contacted and, and came, found her in the parking lot, perhaps met the wrong person uh, or customer and something went bad and as they call it in the industry they had a bad date and and one thing led to the other and she ended up dead. The killer's DNA isn't currently in the DNA data bank, a challenge when it comes to solving this cold case. We preserved evidence the best way we knew how 20 years ago but did we really know that we we're going to be doing all this DNA stuff 20, 30 years later uh, that's going, going to advance even more. Uh, I don't know that we did, but I'm, I'm certainly glad that things were preserved the way they were. 21 years later, all they need is a name. You should care all the time about any murder. There's, you know, we everybody looks for justice. She had a family. She was a member of a, the community here. Uh, she was a person. Anyone with any information is being asked to contact Toronto Police or Crime Stoppers. You can do so anonymously. Maliha Sheikh, City News.